As I've said numerous times throughout the years, Sonic the Hedgehog remains my favorite video game series of all time. From the moment I first laid my eyes on Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I was in love. Through each iteration of the blue blur, there have been games I rather enjoyed, and others I really can't stand, but I've stuck with Sonic throughout the years, for better or for worse. To celebrate the series that planted me firmly into the Sega camp throughout the 90s, I present five great Sonic levels. For many, Sonic 3 & Knuckles was the pinnacle of the 16-bit era Sonics. While I can't say I agree completely, there is little doubt this was a phenomenal way to end the main series on the Genesis. The introduction of a save system, a massive amount of levels, three playable characters, and a soundtrack partially composed by the King of Pop add up to one of the top titles of 1994. And for some reason, Ice Cap Zone Act 2 is my favorite in the entire game. Perhaps it's the cool level gimmicks, like bouncing off these springs, or maybe it's this awesome 3D line scrolling effect, giving the illusion of ice floating in the background. Or perhaps it's the way they made the ice look reflective and transparent without the use of transparencies. It's really quite stunning. But it's probably the amazing music. There is something incredibly melodic here, from the way it starts low and slow and builds into a really driving piece of music. Something about it just ties all the other elements together, making racing through it an absolute blast. Of course, Ice Cap has a great balance of speed, loops, and platforming, which are the trademarks of a great Sonic level. Sonic's debut into true 3D platforming was Sonic Adventure. For better or worse, this game set the tone for the next three games in the main series, with multiple characters, different gameplay types, and an unlockable final level. As expected, Sonic has all of the best levels with his trademark speed and tight controls. In fact, I pretty much enjoy all of them, but the one that stands out for me is Speed Highway. Again, it does an awesome job mixing in terrific speed sections, fun platforming, neat gimmicks, helicopter rides, and a rocket for good measure. The graphics are also pretty sweet, with plenty of highways, high-rise buildings, and racing around the city skyline at night is a fun experience. And of course, there was something insanely special about racing down the side of a building, letting you know Sonic really is the fastest thing alive. But again, I can't help but feel the music really helps cement the experience. There's an interesting mix of both rock and funk blended together to create a really pleasant sound that fits both Sonic and the nighttime theme. Don't get me wrong, there were other great levels in Sonic Adventure, but Speed Highway is the one that always sticks out for me. Like I've already mentioned, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 will always have a special place in my gaming history. It's the game that introduced me to the series, and easily the Sonic game I'm most familiar with in the entire library. Again, you really can't go wrong with any of the levels here, except maybe Metropolis Zone. Stupid Mantis. But like most kids in the 90s, Casino Night Zone was my absolute favorite. In a weird way, it felt adult and mature, and when you're 9 years old, that is pretty cool. The gambling in pinball was awesome as well. The pinball flippers actually work, unlike the wonky physics found in a pair of other casino-inspired levels. Casino Night Zone 2 is especially cool, and I got an absolute kick out of exploring every little nook and cranny, trying to find all the alternative paths and secret areas. It's stuff like this which gives the classic Sonic games their replayability. The music is top-notch as well. Growing up, I had no idea the Super Nintendo had superior music capabilities, because I had a healthy dose of awesome awesome synthesized FM music, and the Mega Drive's amazing ability to belt out some terrific horns with real weight and depth to them. Perhaps the SNES didn't have superior music capabilities after all.
The Sonic Advance series is a bit overlooked in my opinion. Sonic fans were busy with Sonic Adventure 2, and I, along with millions of others, were busy having Halo Land parties, so imagine my surprise when I finally did revisit this trilogy and discovered it's actually pretty damn awesome. Having no idea what the series was about, I was even more stunned when I made it to Sunset Hill in Sonic Advance 3. I was hit so hard with nostalgia, I just put the controller down and soaked it all in. No lie. Anyway, I'll just pick Sunset Hill Act 1, but it really doesn't matter. This is a clear throwback to Green Hill Zone, with updated graphics, a cool orange hue, and a terrific remix of the classic tune. The whole advanced series has a great techno dubstep dance feel to it, and the remixed Green Hill music sounds excellent with this new interpretation. Even more amazing considering the Game Boy Advance didn't exactly have the best sound hardware. Everything you love about the original is well represented, including checkerboard patterns, plenty of loops, high speed areas, and of course, BS enemy placement. This one is a pure nostalgia pick, and if I ruin the surprise for you, I sincerely apologize. Wrapping things up, we make our way to Sonic Colors for the original Wii. This was the second of the Boost trilogy and often overshadowed by the well-received Sonic Generations. Anyway, Sonic Colors is pretty fantastic with an emphasis on side-scrolling platforming, a superb sensation of speed, excellent controls, just a single playable character, and a new gimmick that doesn't suck. This is an easy game to recommend. But I'm here to present a level, and I can't help but choose Sweet Mountain Act 2. The entire Sweet Mountain gimmick harkens back to the earlier games with set pieces that don't quite make logical sense, but are very creative nonetheless. Here, Sonic races through a land made of cake, dashes enemies with a giant cheeseburger in the background, grinds on peppermint sticks, and displaces popcorn as he zips through the level. There's just something insanely fun about the bubbly environment, and everything flows together really well, with very few breaks in the action. And of course, the music is awesome. Yeah, five levels in, and I'm starting to realize the terrific visual style along with some well-composed music really helps set Sonic apart from many of his contemporaries. Sweet Mountain is no exception. The composers were able to blend a huge sound that would fit right at home in a Las Vegas show, yet somehow mixed in some 60s California guitar riffs, yet it all sounds seamless and fits perfectly with the Sweet theme. So there you have it, 5 great Sonic levels. Now this is not a definitive list, nor is it intended to be a best of, and there are far far more than 5 great Sonic levels, so be sure to leave a comment and let me know which levels you enjoy.